All right, so Apple finally released an update to the ill-fated Final Cut Pro 10.6.7. We now have Final Cut Pro 10.6.8 with a reported fix in the issue where the viewer was freezing up and we were seeing repeated crashes all throughout our edit sessions. So I've been editing all day today on both 10.6.7 and for the last half of the day 10.6.8 and I am happy to say that uh, my issues really evaporated after doing the 10.6.8 update. Now normally in these videos I will go through in detail how to update, how to back up Final Cut Pro, all of that stuff. I'm going to do that at the end of the video and just get right into the specifics on how this solved all of the issues I was experiencing with my video editing. So today I was editing a video for a super secret second channel that I'm working on. I've got almost 100 subscribers and about 10 videos uploaded. And uh, I was experiencing two to three crashes per hour all throughout the morning and early afternoon. And I also experienced the viewer freezing up. And I've got a video clip that I'm going to show you all so you can take a look at what I'm talking about. You're probably experiencing the exact same thing. You can see here uh, the clips that I have from the College World Series. The uh, browser clips are all freaking out and changing to different images. And then the viewer right here is not updating as I skim over the browser. So this would happen on and off during my edit sessions for the last few weeks. And admittedly, this didn't happen as much with my main channel videos, but this has been happening a lot with this, which includes still images and footage from my Canon EOS R. So there's something in this that makes the issue a little bit more frequent than with my uh, normal edits where I'm just speaking to camera and showing things in Final Cut Pro. So I did the 10.6.8 update pretty quickly after it came out on my Mac Studio. The computer I'm demoing with here is my M1 14-inch MacBook Pro, which I haven't updated yet, and we'll do that in a little bit. But after I did the 10.6.8 update, I had zero crashes and zero viewer issues like I just showed you. So everything seems to be running, for me at least, pretty smoothly. So I'm very happy with the update and the ability that I had to run some very smooth, long editing sessions this afternoon without any crashes or hiccups like that at all. So let's dive in and take a look at the release notes. They're pretty funny um, just being one line. So we'll pop over to uh, Safari here and take a look. New and Final Cut Pro 10.6.8 fixes an issue where video could freeze in the viewer. Um, it doesn't mention anything about crashes, which I found particularly interesting, um, because that was really my main issue. The viewer freezing happened very infrequently. It was the constant crashing that was really the big issue. Now, I did do some live editing last week, and for the most part, Final Cut Pro on my MacBook Pro was pretty solid, but there was one instance after about an hour or so of live editing that it did crash during the stream, and it really seemed to get worse Today, when I was editing on my Mac Studio, I just couldn't make it for more 20-30 minutes without the app crashing. Now, this is one of the fastest updates Apple has released for Final Cut Pro. It is not the fastest. I think there was like somebody tweeted like version 10.4 or something came out um, like less than a like within a week or something of when the the previous release had come out. So this is a pretty fast update in Apple listening to our feedback, seeing what we're reporting on social media, live streaming, making YouTube videos about it, rolled out this update quickly. So if anyone from Apple uh, and the Final Cut Pro team is watching, thank you so much for all of your hard work these past few weeks. To, I'm sure look at a ton of crash logs to look at social media and see what people were experiencing and to dive into Final Cut Pro and resolve that issue for us so we could all get back to work in that stable environment that we know and love with Final Cut Pro. So the folks at Apple, thank you very much for getting that taken care of. So let's go through our normal stuff that we do in these videos. Because we don't have any feature updates or anything to demo, let's just dive in for those of you who aren't sure how to properly do an update of their Final Cut Pro application. Let's talk through that, especially if you're someone who is updating from 10.6.6 you didn't want to update to 10.6.7 because of all the issues, and you're going to update to 10.6.8 from 10.6.6. Apple has a website that talks all about what you need to do before you update Final Cut Pro. 
Now me, Dylan Bates, a lot of my friends who are Final Cut Pro YouTubers constantly advocate for backing up your Final Cut Pro application, backing up your libraries, really doing your due diligence to make sure that your butt's covered in case there is an issue with an update. Now it's not terribly likely that 10.6.8 is going to cause any additional issues, but it is possible. And because of that, you're going to want to take precautions, especially if you're updating from 10.6.6. Now before we get into why, let's look at just how you were going to update Final Cut Pro. So let's pull up the App Store. You can see here we've got the new version of Final Cut Pro as well as a new version of iMovie. And iMovie shows in their release notes that it's fixing the same issue. So definitely some overlap in the code and the update that was pushed out with 10.6.7 where this freeze was happening with the viewer and possibly crashes with iMovie as well. I'm not sure I don't use iMovie. Now if you're in the Mac App Store and you are not seeing Final Cut Pro in your list of updates, all you have to do is hit Command R on your keyboard and it will refresh and it should pull up some new apps to update like it just did Slack and Messenger. If you hit Command R and it still doesn't show Final Cut Pro in the list of updates, go ahead and restart your computer and that should trigger Final Cut Pro to show up. If it still doesn't show up, just search for Final Cut Pro and you should see it pop up here as something that you can update. Now we're going to wait a second before we update because we have some crucial steps that we want to do first. One of them being in the Mac App Store. We want to go up to the App Store and hit Settings and make sure that automatic updates are turned off. If you're someone who is using Final Cut Pro regularly for work, client work, a YouTube channel, um, social media work, whatever it is, I highly recommend unchecking the automatic updates box so Final Cut Pro never updates in the background when you don't know it and then when you go open a library and the library gets updated and there are issues with that release of Final Cut Pro or maybe it broke some plugins or whatever happened you need to be prepared to roll back that update if the, if you run into some trouble so I always make sure automatic updates is unchecked then what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up the Final Cut Pro application itself which I need to do on this computer so you can see Final Cut Pro here. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. The way that I typically do it is I just drag and drop it to a new folder. Um, and I'm going to do that over here on my Mac Studio. And we're going to connect to it. I'm going to connect to this. And then I have a folder on here that's just called Old FCP. So I need to get a new folder brought up, 10.6.7. And then I'm going to press and hold Option click and drag Final Cut into this folder and then it's going to copy that over to my Mac Studio which is now connected by 10 gigabit Ethernet because I upgraded my home network and that should transfer over relatively quickly over the Ethernet. Actually no, it isn't connected over 10 gigabit Ethernet. My Mac Mini is this is connected over 1 gig Ethernet so it's going to take a minute for it to copy over that file. So another fast way that you can do this without copying it to another location because we don't want to wait here for this to do it is you can right click the application file and you can choose compress Final Cut Pro and that will accomplish the same thing it essentially puts the Final Cut Pro application into a zip file and the Final Cut Pro update will see that you don't have a current version of Final Cut Pro and it'll add the latest version to your applications folder so I'll go ahead and hit compress and it's going to take a few minutes for it to compress. I'm just looking at the little tally here to see how long it's going to take. It's going to take about three minutes for it to compress Final Cut Pro. So while that does that, let's talk about getting your libraries ready to do the update. So I've got an external drive connected here with some videos on here, including this record voiceover tutorial. All right. Now this library is compatible with 10.6.7 but let's say you're upgrading from 10.6.6 what you want to do is right click and choose duplicate and then label the duplicated library with the version number that it's compatible with so I'm gonna call this 10.6.6 just as an example for those of you upgrading from 10.6.6 uh, 
I'm actually upgrading from 1067, but the 1067 to 1068 process, it doesn't require a library update. So this library is now duplicated. Any other libraries that you're currently working with, you're going to want to duplicate them before you open them in Final Cut Pro. So please be careful to make sure that you are doing this very crucial step so that if you need to roll back Final Cut Pro, you can have an older library to open to. Now, there's a whole other process uh, to use XMLs to be able to go from a more current library back to an older library. We're not gonna get into that in this video, but I'll put a link in the description to uh, Dylan Bates, his YouTube channel. He has a video there that talks about backdating your libraries, and you can learn some things uh, with that process on Dylan's channel. Um, let's take a look and see that we've got Final Cut Pro copied over onto the Mac Studio, and we'll just double check old FCP, and it looks like Final Cut is still transferring over. Or, yes, it still is. Okay. Because once this gets compressed and copied over, then we'll be able to do the installation update. Installation update, the app update. Now I'm doing this video a little differently. Normally I live stream these, but I'm using Ecamm Live to just record this as if it were a live stream, um, but uh, recording it locally, and then I'll just upload that video instead of doing this live. Those videos tend to get a little frustrating for viewers because for the people that just want a quick understanding of what's going on with Final Cut Pro, the videos are usually an hour plus if I stream the entire time. Whereas uh, the people that want to be there for an hour hanging out talking about the update, they get a little frustrated when the video is only about 15, 20 minutes long. So we're going to try to do a little something different to try to keep everybody happy with what's going on with uh, Final Cut Pro and these updates. So we've still got the app copying over and getting compressed. Uh, and this is definitely taking a lot longer than I prefer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and abort this, and we are going to copy this over to a new folder in the Movies folder. So my apologies for not having this ready to go. We're going to call this old FCP. We're going to double check what version this is, because I think this is 10.6.6. I'm going to make a new folder that says 10.6.6, and then I'm going to copy this into there. Then I'm going to do a new folder that says 10.6.7, and I'm going to option click this over here. And hopefully, because it's going to the same drive, it's going to happen much faster. So we'll go ahead and kill that copy. And yeah, this is only going to take a few seconds. So normally I like to do it to my Mac Studio because there's an external drive there that it, that it can copy to, but we'll just do it this way. Okay, so now we're all ready to go for that app update. Now you can see here I've still got 10.6.7. I don't know why I'm in this view. 10.6.7 uh, here in the viewer, and I'm going to move back over to the Mac App Store and do this update. Now this update might take a few minutes. It's going to take certainly no time to download, but it may take a moment for it to install. What we want to do is we want to check to see if there's a library app update. There I already know from um, working on my Mac Studio and going from 10.6.7 to 10.6.8 that my libraries did not require an update from 10.6.7 to 10.6.8. We're also just going to quickly double check that the XML version is still on 1.11 and it hasn't updated to a 1.12. So we've got the installation here getting close-ish to wrapping up and installing, which it's doing right now. And we can definitely stop that. So this was um, a little unexpected. I honestly was not expecting Final Cut Pro to get an update today, um, so much so that I wasn't checking the App Store uh, pretty frequently today. I, I checked it this morning, and then someone t uh, CC'd me on a tweet that the um, app update had been released. So uh, I had my daughter sleeping on me while I was editing today and uh, a host of other things going on this afternoon, so I wasn't able to jump on and do a live stream. 
but uh, Dylan Bates, whose channel I have linked down in the description, he did a live stream for, like, gosh, almost close to two hours that was pretty active and lively with a lot of people asking questions and Dylan doing a great breakdown of Final Cut 10.6.8 and the issues he was experiencing on 10.6.7. So definitely check out his replay of his live stream if you are looking to consume some more Final Cut Pro content as Final Cut Pro finishes its installation here. So once it's uh, closed, we're gonna go to our Final Cut library that we want to open. Uh, and I'm gonna go back to the Movies folder and then YouTube, and then um, let's go to, uh, yeah, that's a live stream. Let's go to, yeah, yeah, we'll do this one. So I'm gonna duplicate this and call it 10.6.7, because I already updated to 10.6.7, 10.6.7, and then I'm gonna open this one. And this was from my live stream that I recorded. I downloaded the video from YouTube and then I added chapter markers so that viewers could more easily navigate the contents of that video. So we've got the pop-up screen here for um, the new features and I'm getting just some updates for some plugins that I use. That doesn't normally happen for most of you. We'll pull this in. You can see Dylan there. Again, this is just the replay of a live stream I did last Friday. Now you could see that Final Cut Pro did not trigger a library update. There wasn't something that said this library is out of date and needs to be updated, so we're good there. And now let's select this and choose Export XML and just double check that the XML version, yep, still at 1.11. So for all of you who are in higher end post-production workflows doing uh, sound, color turnover, things like that, visual effects, you don't need to worry about the XML being updated. It's still available at 1.11, so we're good there. So that's the process for updating Final Cut Pro. And again, and I'll link this down in the description, really make sure that you understand how to back up Final Cut Pro and prepare for an update to Final Cut Pro whenever it's released, because this is a great lesson with 10.6.7 that it can really break things. It can really break down your post-production workflow. And if you're a YouTuber, social media person, if you're making family home videos, if you're a high-end post-production professional, updating Final Cut Pro can really be detrimental. And if it happens accidentally, a team member does it, you've got auto updates accidentally set, you can roll it back. Um, there are ways to do it and um, uh, it, it, it can be a little bit difficult if you only have one computer, of course, um, but there are some ways that, uh, especially if you have multiple computers and you save the old application versions, Final Cut Pro application versions, you can kind of get yourself unstuck. But let's not even put ourselves in that position. Let's turn off auto updates. Let's make sure we back everything up before we update and stay in control of everything. But I think that's it. That's all I've got for this Final Cut Pro update video. If I forgot anything or you had any questions, please drop it down in the comments. I'll be active in the comments today and tomorrow, uh, hopefully helping everybody out that has any questions. I'm also hoping to do a stream in the next couple of days for those of you who are interested to talk about Final Cut, and we'll go from there. So that's it. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Till the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli. See ya.